Damping and Resonance Damping is a process where oscillations die down due to loss energy. Damping causes the amplitude of oscillation gradually decreases and finally becomes zero when oscillation stops. This phenomenon is caused by air resistance and frictions. In general, there are two types of damping forces. Internal damping due to the internal resistance against extension and compression by molecules in the oscillating system itself. External damping due to air resistance and frictional force. Resonance. External force must be applied to keep and oscillating system to go continuously. Thus, the damped oscillating system is said to be undergoing forced oscillation. An example of forced oscillation is the vibrating body of a guitar caused by the vibrations of strings of the instrument. Resonance is a unique case of forced oscillation, which produces maximum amplitude in a system when the frequency of a vibrating object acting on the system is equal to its natural frequency. For example, the driver pendulum in the figure is pulled back and released. The oscillating motion is then transmitted along supporting string, caused all the pendulums start to oscillate. Pendulum D, which has the same length with driver pendulum oscillates, with largest amplitude and is said to be in resonance. Applications of Resonance Musical instruments such as flute, oboe, trumpet, and saxophone can emit loud sounds. This is done by producing resonant oscillations on the air column inside the instruments. The frequency of a piano or guitar strings can be tuned by a professional tuner who uses a tuning fork to produce resonant oscillations on the strings. Radio receivers have to be tuned to the same frequency as the incoming radio waves to achieve resonant oscillations for good reception of the radio signals. Thank you for taking time to watch this.